military fails never fail. So let's go and check out this week's funniest military TikTok fails. This right here, that's super good idea, bro. I've done this plenty of times. And as you can see, I'm completely fine. Dude, he's about to come. Oh, dude, look, he's going to bust. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, face down up. That's the way we like. Uh -uh, no. No. This is when you just with him a little bit undo his pants pull it down a little bit to where his booty crack is just showing that's a really good prank he's gonna freak out harder daddy bro taste this mother taser, right taser, now taser, harder, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey oh look at this dirty doo-doo stained mattress this was originally white america isn't the only thing we're serving all right let's see oh my god <laughs> what are you wearing are these both dudes hey he getting it though oh thank you for your service and thank you for serving some of that I needed that today. Uh, you got, you got, you gotta hype me up. Oh you no! Gotta, you gotta tell me. Yes, Semper Pyre. I'm girl queen pussy. <laughs> 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 I'm girl queen pussy bossing all <laughs> over the place. Hey, what? Hey, he feeling it. Everybody in the chat on like TikTok time, they're like, "Man, you look so good in that fucking dinner." And he's like, oh, <laughs> "Thank you for your sleigh, King. We salute you." <laughs> Real American heroes. Same video. <laughs> Imagine feeling so cute. So snatched, so slight. Oh, this is the pants girl. Just to have to put this on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> when you put on your dress blues or any dress uniform in the military and you're in shape, you're feeling yourself every single time. You're like, dude, I look real good right now. As a German citizen, I'm proud to have served the USA as a barracks bunny. Thank you for your service. She just hyped up all the barracks bunny girls. A salute's coming, isn't it? Oh. For all the barracks bunnies who were there when we needed it. Even if you guys were a one. Let me know down below in the comments your craziest barracks bunny story. I'm actually super curious. And all the females, if you're brave enough, let me know down below in the comments if you were barracks bunnies. Also goes for you too, guys. Hey, ladies, it's not too late to ask Santa for a loyal, hot military man under your Christmas tree. VH and TRICARE sold separately. <laughs> Why are your pants so- Bro, hold on. Get some bigger f pants. This is worse than skinny jeans, bro. Military millionaire. This is going to be bad. Are you in the U.S. military and trying to make yourself become a millionaire? I'm going to tell you how to do this in three easy steps. Uh, Step three. one is you're going to use your VA home loan entitlement to purchase yourself a single family residence or a multifamily residence up to four units for zero money down. When you get your orders to your next duty station, you're going to purchase this, uh, yourself another property. Here. Over the course of your Fun career, you'll accumulate more and more pills. property. <laughs> I have a feeling this guy's like never done any of the shit telling us to do right now. He's like the typical f I got an idea. I'm going to tell people how to get rich. Oh my God. I didn't even think about the privates. Holy sh! All the privates watching this right now, dude. Stop. You're poor and you're retarded. You cannot operate like this. You have zero clue what you're doing. POV and LT walks out of the barracks bunny's room. I've seen this before and everybody just does this. Oh. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Matter of fact. I'm blind in my left eye. <laughs> hey, I can't even blind see. I'm like a horse. Right. As a matter of fact, I can't even see you, sir. I just became legally blind. <laughs> what the f*** is that thing? Is it an electric glove? <laughs> what in the inspector gadget is that, bro? POV, hyping the boys to steal all the goats from the Taliban. Yo, they be f those goats, dude. Those goats got sore booties, but goddamn, they thick as <laughs> Ah, that's me off every field exercise anytime i gotta hype the boys up i don't know how i do it i just say something crazy and then at the end i'm like ah, and then all the boys are like uh, 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 and they all turn to monkeys and then go do cool shit you know super fun never stole a goat stolen a donkey before though that was crazy donkey was getting so we moved the donkey <laughs> to the random army guy i met in germany you have aids now congratulations all right we got mi military police put your Get hands in the air! <laughs> like, bro, chill, you're just playing basketball with this kid. You have a two-year-old son. Every dude watching this now, they're like, wait. Oh, Didn't you just move back from Germany <laughs> not that long ago? Yeah. You ever play basketball? 
Oh, wait, that's the guy? Hey, if this was you, let me know down below in the comments. We'll help you find your child. Younger. Hey, you should go back, though. Like, she... Yeah, I mean, hey, guys, right now, come on. Would you go back at this point? Top five craziest Article 15... Uh, ooh! Long story short, an Article 15 is something that you did that's getting you kicked out of the military. So, let's see what the top five craziest stories are that got people kicked out of the army. A soldier had a lady of the night, a streetwalker, in their trunk trying to sneak them on post. Didn't work and still had to pay her for her time. Dude, that does happen a lot. When you go on post, sometimes there's random vehicle inspections. All the retarded privates love to bring strippers or drunk bitch on post, but they have to sneak them on. Majority of the time. Let's just say you get a random vehicle inspection and there's a drunk bitch in your trunk. You probably f I go to the uh, gate. One of our guys is at the <clears throat> gate in handcuffs. I said, what's going on here? The soldier showed up to the gate acting awfully weird. The MPs oh, pulled him out and smelled the green stuff pretty easily. Guess where it was? It was in his pants, tucked underneath his manhood. You gotta put it up your ass, guys. Come on. It's not that hard to <laughs> stick it in there, bro. You'll be just fine. I've never done it. <laughs> the CSM was at the ball with all his Basically soldiers. He decided to walk up to a female E6 and say oh. this. I want to be inside your pants. <laughs> What? A CSM? So, Command Sergeant Major, Mr. Editor, can you just put, like, a, f a, a chart here so people kind of get the, the idea of where... That's like you being, like, a police dispatcher, and then the chief of police just at a random event's like, I want to f***ing get in your pants. Like, huh? Knowing they hate the blonde on black people in uniform. Huh? Who hates it? Slay. Slay. I kind of f***ed with that f***. Yo, who lost their f***ing hair, dude? Somebody come get this sh Her boot growing hair? From this picture alone, what is their MLS? Oh, 42 Alpha. 42 Alpha for sure. Or supply specialist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this this is S shops all f day long. Let me know down below in the comments. What MOS is this? A lot of shit happened in 2022, but at least I don't eat grands, talk to aliens, and I'm not named after something I saw. This one feels personal. It was meant to get to me. I don't like that. You're in the f***ing Air Force, dude. Just sick. Sure, guys. Yeah, you would. Shut the f*** up. All the, all the, this, right now I'm having a just guide telepathy talk with all the boys in the chat. You know you f***. Would you piece of shit? No, don't tell me you <laughs> said I'll give her somewhere to sit. Oh, you need a chair, huh? Okay, I even got armrest, dude. Most capable chair you've ever seen in your whole life. I think this chair is broken, something's going up my ass. POV, you wake up on Christmas and you're still a boot in the barracks. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I used to have nightmares in boot camp, bro. And before I went to boot camp, about me just like being stuck there forever, feels like prison dude pov you finally get your dd214 and the co asks you to give a speech dd214 is the paperwork you get when you leave okay this has just been such a pleasure I, <laughs> i'm such a lucky boy I can't hate every second go home i can't wait to go home why is every gift we give to a commander or nco or people leaving the unit it's just a, p a wooden plaque that's a great oh wow i'm such a lucky boy i want to get the out of here now! Black girls in the military. Oh, it's gonna be good. We're black girls in the military. Of course I'm considered overweight because I got a fat ass. <laughs> We're black girls in the military. Of course my RBF get mistaken as an attitude. A what? An attitude? We're black girls in the military. Of course my enthusiasm get mistaken as ratchet is. <laughs> Ah, woot woot go black girls let's get it <laughs> when you get injured in the marine corps and you go to medical i drink water i don't know that leg is what the f <laughs> yeah just pour some water on it and drink some water be totally fine this is actually like a perfect depiction of what the f sick call and all those people want you to do think about getting out of the army you're not going anywhere do anything i'll do whatever it takes to DFAS, this year's military pay raise will be 5.2%. We're so poor, we'll take any amount of more money. Don't do it. Don't. Oh! The army trained you how to be homeless. Facts? Why do you think all these homeless veterans, like, people like, stop this homeless veteran? They'll be like, hey, shut up. We ain't stressing. I get everything free. I do whatever the fuck I want. Army trains you how to be homeless. Go get that sh Look at that fucking fox. God damn. Bro, he practicing his veteran with the sign. More food, please. 29-year-old E4 talking to a 23-year-old E5. I picked up my five when I was like 21, my E5. And there's nothing worse than being a younger soldier outranking dudes who are in their 30s. Everyone just gets mad at you. So tell me what to do. Okay, you don't know shit. I'll be like, no, I do know shit. That's why I fucking outrank you because you're a fucking dumbass bitch. Give a f Man, I'm sick of you always thinking you know what's best for me, dog. You ain't my f 
Father, I'm a grown man. <laughs> Every time, at the craziest attitude. Y'all are little b****s, man. Do better. Corrective action. U.S. military versus Canadian military. U.S.A. <laughs> You're gay. No, I'm gay. You're gay. Ah. It's like Tourette's on X Games mode. In your ear 24-7. What happened? Sergeant. Phone ring. I turned it off. Tout, That's all. Yes, Sergeant. We're not going to ask if you're honest. You're expected to be honest. And if you're lying, you're going to get f***ed up. That was the discipline? Canada, that's why y'all not back-to-back -back World War champs. Okay, I'm sorry. POV, the Marines brought the pull-up bar to our school. You want to be a Marine? No, I don't. Please, sir, leave me alone. Get on the f bar and give me your phone number because I'm going to call you every single day until you enlist. <laughs> What's he doing? Okay, actually, that's a good way to not get recruited. Just pretend to ejaculate and have a stroke on the pull-up bar. I was waiting for them to, like, punch him in the f***ing stomach. Yes, the letters you wrote to deployed soldiers do actually go to people. Oh, shit. I haven't even thought about that. Y'all know in, like, elementary school and shit, when you're, like, running out these cards and they're like, what would you guys say to the president? It's going to the president. The ones you guys write to, like, soldiers during the holidays? Yeah, every time I've been in a range, I've gotten, like, these letters and all of this. Thank you for your service. Love you. Bye. I'm like, Cody, what the f***? Who is Cody? And I want to be like you when I grow up. I wish I could write back and be like, dude, sucks here, man. Being like shit, like I'm a goddamn prison. I'm chafed deep in my asshole. I cry every day. Don't do what I do. Hey guys, this is a reminder that when you were little and you wrote letters to soldiers and you, like made them stockings and stuff, they, they do actually go to people. And whoever gave me a pocket version of the Constitution of the United States, just know Thank you so much. You're appreciated. Don't ever send me a, a thing, Constitution of the United States. I'll set it on fire. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, you bye.